Doug and PA back with another one. I talk about women and debt on my channel a lot. It's probably my favorite thing to talk about, student loan debt in particular. But I got to hold us men accountable too. Women are getting BS degrees from colleges that, that are too expensive to get jobs no one cares about that aren't going to make them any money. And there are guys who are doing the same thing. Going back to that Dr. Phil episode, this is the same episode as that girl that got the PhD in dance. Well, this guy right here went to culinary school and got himself with a whole bunch of debt. So we're going to see what he has to say about his debt. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And once again, this is a, a Dr. Phil episode, so I have to use an overlay. Dr. Phil will copyright your channel real quick. So follow along with me as we see what's going on with this guy and his debt. There was a version of me before my student loan debt and after my student loan debt. I never got back to myself after falling into this situation. I got my first loan at the age of 17 when I started culinary school. Before my 21st birthday, I was in over $130,000 of student loan. $130,000? For culinary school? So he got himself $130,000 in debt from 17 to 20 years old. This is crazy. Why don't people like this, particularly men, have anyone around them telling them this is a bad idea? Don't do it. Don't do it. Loan debt. My student loan payment is $915. I paid in full every month. In order to make my monthly payment and to keep up with my student loan debt, I do work at a nonprofit teaching financial literacy. I oh, that's going to get you a lot of money. And also, he's in all this debt and he's teaching financial literacy. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> that figures, doesn't it? It figures. I work on a crisis hotline. I do dog sitting. I clean houses. There's kind of almost nothing I'm not willing to do just to be able to earn money to try to make my situation better. I've paid about $70,000 towards my student loan debt and it's only increased. I still owe more now than when I originally started paying 10 years ago. To be so young in so much debt after everyone encouraged you to go to college and to get your degree, it was the worst decision I could have made. But they didn't tell you to get a culinary degree. Come on, you guys. Are you guys feeling sympathy for this guy? Because I'm most certainly not. Nope. Come on now. It got so bad to the point where I felt like the only way this problem is going to go away is if I go away. And I really thought at one point when it was at its worst that that would be the only solution. I, I don't feel bad for him still, guys. I really don't. I don't. And I'm interested to see what he has to say, because right now, all I have to say to him is... He shouldn't... Culinary school? I'm going to say that a lot during this video, guys. I can't believe it. What school did he go to and why? Bradley, thanks for being here. You say that taking out your loans for college is one of the biggest regrets of your life. To this day, still is the biggest regret of my life. I was 17 years old and a senior in high school, and I knew I wanted to go to culinary school. And I thought, if I want to be the best and have the best future, I should go to the best school. And it was the top culinary school in America. Mm -hmm. And I have lived with this for the past 10 years of my life. And the last thing that this degree has done was pay off immediately. Uh, and you say it's destroyed your mental health. Oh, absolutely. I feel like I did everything right to set myself up for success in my future, only to realize getting my college degree absolutely destroyed any future that I thought that I had for myself. And it wasn't until a week before graduation that they set up an exit interview through the school and they sat me down and said, OK, congratulations, your student loan payment's going to be $1,400 a month. Yeah. $1,400 a month. Jesus H. Christ. Wow. $1,400 a month. That's what happens when you get these high priced loans, guys. And it's not that you don't look at your debt accruing as you're going to college each semester. I think, guys, if you're going to school and you see it racking up, 
you got to make a decision as to whether it's worth the, the full four years, guys. But that's what he, he should have did. And there was no conversation beforehand. When you take out the loans, no one gave any financial education to explain this is what interest means, this is what compounding interest means. I know- well, At 17, you didn't understand all of that. Who does? I know adults who don't even have a budget because they don't know how to. So we're relying on teenagers to understand what all of this means. And you say you've been living like you're mentally homeless. You, you, you haven't purchased clothes, holes in your shoes. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, it could be embarrassing for folks. I'm very proud to say that I am wearing the shoes that I've had since 2012. They do have holes in them, and it represents what I dedicated my life to because even though I took on this student loan debt, not really realizing the mess I was making and hoping that my degree was going to pay off, I made the sacrifices to live this way, to try to turn my situation Have you ever around. missed a payment? No. No, I've made my payments in full on time, but because of the high interest and it compounds daily. So it says now he has $147,000. So it went from $130,000 to $147,000. Every time I make that payment, by the time it's ready to make my next payment, it grew back. So I'm doing everything by the book. I'm working hard. I'm making my payments full. I'm making them on time. But the system is set up to keep you in the system. It's not set up for you to succeed. Okay, so you borrowed about 130. You've paid in 70. Yes. And you still owe how much? $147,000 to this day. Okay, but when you... There it is, guys. There it is. For a culinary arts degree. The government is not going to stop these colleges from charging that much money. It's up to you guys to not fall for it in the first place. Don't sign on that dotted line, guys. Don't. Because my ultimate argument is you sign on that dotted line. If they were making you go to school and charging you for it afterwards, I can see it. But sorry, he signed on it. You got out. Did you get a job in your... Profession? Yes. Yeah. How, how much was we being paid an hour? Uh, that job, I believe, is twelve dollars an hour. Twelve dollars an hour. Jesus H. Christ. You can make that working anywhere now. A lot of places, minimum wage is fifteen. Well, in, in California, minimum wage at a fast food place is twenty-five dollars an hour. Twenty dollars an hour now. I live this way with holes in my shoes because I wanted to save every dollar I could to try to make my situation better because no one was going to help me. You can't just return your college degree. Once you got it, you got it. So the return no, it on investment pretty. wasn't there. No, and it's so frustrating that people say, well, why did you do it? Well, how about you look at the culinary school's website that says not only will it pay off immediately, but getting this degree is going to potentially earn you much more than other culinary Well, if it schools. was on the website, it has to be true. <laughs> uh, but Dr. Phil's clowning. <laughs> That's the predatory part, that they're selling the dream, but you bought the lie. This court has what do you guys think? Look, I hold men to a different standard on my channel, okay? Women get sympathy, men don't. He should have known better, and he's going to have to pay for it. Men, we get no sympathy, we get no empathy, no one cares about our mental health, and no one cares. Miss PhD in dance last time is going to get more sympathy, and is going to get more access to help this guy. It's his grim reality. He's going to have to live it. He's going to have to keep paying. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.